What's good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE Elite Series 82 2 in 1 review. We got the last two in the set. We got Jerry the King Lawler, and by God, if I haven't seen everything in my whole damn life, Brad, Rob Gronkowski, first time in the line figure. I cannot believe we have an official Rob Gronkowski WWE Elite action figure. Not in a good way. Not in a good way. But as you guys can see here, not only are we going to take a look at these figures closely, but we're also going to rank Elite Series 82 in this video from worst to best in my own personal opinion but diving in guys you got the front viewing windows on the side you get an image of Lawler and Gronkowski there on the back you get the bio reads if you want to read it you can pause it now images of the two there images of the two there and that pretty much does it for our packaging of these two guys so if you guys would like to pick these up you can go over to ringside collectibles wrestling figures.com use promo code MD toys to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there to save your money I don't know what the stock is on these I don't know if these are in stock or not but you may want to go check it out as well as the rest of the figures in the wave i think actually the full wave may be on back order except for finn balor if you can believe that which is absolutely absurd but that pretty much does it for the packaging guys so let's go ahead and crack gronk and jerry the king lawler out of their packaging so here's Gronk and the King out of the packaging, guys. Looking all right, you know, no, 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 not too bad of stuff going on with these. Now, I am just, uh, it is crazy that we have a Rob Gronkowski action figure in the WWE Elite line. I mean, my God, he showed up for five seconds, then went back to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Absolutely insanity. Now, I didn't want this guy on my WWE television, but you know what? I do respect him as a football player, as a tight end in the NFL. He's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. I'm a football fan. I love sports. I think Gronk's a fantastic player outside of his injury proneness. But you know what? He's doing decent down there in Tampa Bay. But anyways, guys, what we're going to do is run through Jerry the King Lawler's accessories and Jerry the King Lawler. Then we're going to run it back and take a closer look at Gronk's accessories and Gronk. And then we're going to rank Elite Series 82 from worst to best. So let's shut the hell up and dive into it, Brad. So for Jerry the King Lawler's accessories, guys, you will see here we do get his infamous crown. I mean, you can't be a king without your crown. So there you go. It's a nice blue color. It's got this nice sculpt going on. I don't know if we've seen this crown before, if this is the same sculpt that we saw with, uh, you know, other, other figures with crowns that we seen in the past. I believe it is the same. It could be different, but you got nice golds and navies and reds. They look really good on the figure, and it fit the figure nice, as you guys saw in the last part of the video. Next up, he does come with two pairs of interchangeable hands. You have the fisted hands and the light skin tone, and then, this is very odd to me. He comes with mic holding hands, but look at the size difference. Why is his left hand so much larger? Like, what is that? Very, very odd. Very, very odd for sure. This left hand is much, much bigger, and the right hand is standard size, so I don't know what's up with that but that is the case and then finally we do have his cape which is super nice it's cloth material it looks really good it kind of reminds me of a defining moment uh, it does tie in the front I'm not gonna untie that you can just loop that over the head because if this comes untied it's gone forever I won't be able to get it as tight or as nice as it was out of the factory so you do have this nice navy color with these floral designs and king designs in silver with the white it looks really good on the figure you guys saw it's like a cape and it drapes over the figure nicely and you love to see it you gotta love cloth accessories when they give them to us but he's got his crown he's got his cape no scepter or anything like that, but uh, you know, the Jerry the King Lawler looking pretty fire. Also, this elbow pad is nice. If you want to count that as an accessory, look at that little nice print on there with the little castle emblem crest. That is sick. But anyways, that pretty much does it for Jerry the King Lawler's accessories. So getting into the King himself, guys, I actually do like this head sculpt. I think it does look like a young Jerry the King Lawler. The dark brown hair looks nice. I like the skin tone we got. I like the singlet. The royal blue color is real saturated and nice. I feel like my lighting is a piece of ish. What is this? What is this? Anyways, I'm doing my best here, but the, the, the figure looks good. I do get a little bleeding on my wrist tape there in blue. You could probably put these arms on a different figure. If you wanted to put these on like Finn Balor or something, that would probably work. You know, with like navy blue or make a different attire. But the white elbow pad looks good. I really love this pattern going on on the legs, like these crests and these crowns and the goldness going all the way around. It's really, really clean. It pops off really nicely. He is not on bald joints, but his legs do articulate pretty nicely. He's got his black boots with white outsoles, and he does have the white crowns on there and I like this you know I've never owned a Jerry the King Lawler Elite before I know we've gotten a few of them I think this is our third Jerry the King Lawler Elite I if I'm not mistaken but I like it I like it a lot and I think you could if you wanted to you could put his his cape on him he could put his uh his crown on him and you might be able to sit him over at commentary and get away with it if you're trying to do like an attitude era setup or something like that I think you might could get away with that you may want to pop the head sculpt off for the you know that that commentary figure we got back in the day but I still think it could it could work if you if you know if you detailed it right 
and stuff, but I like this figure, man. It looks alright. I might use him for parts, you know, but uh, yeah, I like this figure. But that pretty much does it for Jerry the King Lawler, guys, and I don't have that first figure, so I really don't have anything to compare him to, so we're just gonna dive right into the Gronk figure, so let's get into Gronk's accessories. So for Gronk's accessories, guys, you actually get a decent amount of stuff, starting out first with this nice track jacket, like a super nice track jacket, and a jacket that I'm gonna be putting on the MDT figure. You have these nice black, like, zebra stripe pattern going down. It's in the MDT colors. The only thing that's throwing me off is the Gronk Mania. Uh, I could easily cover that with some fabric paint or something and, you know, wear this for my MDT figure. If my MDT figure comes out to the ring, you know, if I'm in a wrestling match or something, this is the jacket that I'm gonna wear to the ring because this looks just like the MDT. This looks like MDT, man. I could put, like, a big MDT logo on the back, maybe, but I still think it works out. Even if I don't put any logos on it, this track jacket is super nice. You guys saw how it fit the figure. Um, this is a very high quality piece. Like, the it Velcro's in the front. It fits the figure well. It's, I even got these cuffs down here with the stripes. I mean, they did an excellent job recreating this jacket in figure form, and it fits the figure really, really good, as you guys saw. So, you love to see that. He also comes with mic holding hands out of the packaging, and he comes with these wide open hands, I guess, to wave or, or to slap some hose in the face. I don't know. And then he does come with a WWE microphone. It's just your modern microphone. I feel like the logo's maybe a little bit small there. They don't fill up the, the square as nice as I'd like, but it still works out. He also has these sunglasses, which I am going to put on the figure now so you guys can see what these look like on the figure. They're nice, kind of like Bret Hart style shades, and they fit on the figure quite nice. Like, it, it fits the head sculpt really, really nice. So there you go. It's kind of translucent or transparent. You can see through there. It's got the silver lining on it, and yeah, there you go. Pretty, pretty good stuff right there. And then you do have the 24-7 Championship, which we have seen before with the Elite 78 R-Truth figure, and it is good to get these back in the collection. I think this is the second one we're getting now. Even though they still have not painted the 24-7 in green, it's still that silver color, so uh, if I wanted to fix that, I'd have to. I only fixed up my R-Truth one. I don't know if I'll do it again because I only really need one, so I don't know. We'll see about that, but there's the 24-7 Championship, your nice track jacket, and everything like that, but now that we have seen that, guys, let's dive into Gronk himself. So getting into Gronk himself, guys, this head sculpt's all right. He's making a real doofus-like you know, expression there. His chin looks a bit off shaping with the facial hair there, and it's missing some paint, so it looks a little bit off, but the hair sculpt's nice. I feel like you could easily snap that if you wanted to. It, like, it sticks out kind of far, but not the biggest deal there. The, the It's definitely a goofy expression, though. I like the paint apps and everything on it. The fade haircut on the side is very nice, but I don't think, yeah, man, I, I don't know. I feel like the, the jaw is super narrow right here with the facial hair, and I feel like this definitely needs to, I feel like if you sanded that off, it would look a lot better, but nonetheless, going down into the shirt, he does have your standard Stone Cold Steve Austin torso, but it is molded in white, so it's like a white compression shirt. He is wearing like a sleeveless white compression shirt. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Uh, he has his nice arms on here. He's got kind of like, I think these are, I don't even know what arms these are. They're like Bobby Roode basic arms, but they're in the lighter skin tone, of course, to match. He's got the nice shoulders on there. On his pants, he does have the nice zebra stripes going down the side here, this weird camo stripe pattern. The same as the jacket going down the side in the light blue and black. You got the same like Shane McMahon legs with the sweatpants, and you got the white sneakers to go with it. And on the other side, it does say Gronk Mania. So the Gronk Mania is on the side there, and it's pretty plain Jane figure. I, I honestly feel like once this hits retail, I honestly think this is going to rot on shelves. We'll have to see about that. It could be used for some cool parts or something if you need to, you know, switch out or make some cool thing. I, I really, nothing's really coming to my mind right now, but, uh, you know, I haven't spent a ton of time thinking about it, but this could make for some really cool, uh, something. I don't know. I'll leave that up to you guys to come up with, but he is on ball joints because it is the Shane McMahon sweatpants or jogger style leggings or jogger style legs, but that pretty much does it for the Gronk Elite figure, man. Pretty standard figure, not too, uh, crazy over the top, but let's go ahead and dive into my ranking of Elite Series 82. Alright guys, it is finally time to rank Elite Series 82 from worst to best in my own personal opinion. You guys know how these rundowns work. This is uh, based on articulation, accessories, excitement level for the figure, how much we needed the figure, my excitement level for it, all the things above, and also just because a figure comes in at the 6th spot does not mean it's the worst figure ever and there's no good qualities about it, and just because a figure comes in at number 1 doesn't mean it is without fault and just the best figure of the of just all time. So that being said, guys, let's dive into it. Starting out at the bottom of the ranking, and I gotta go with freaking Rob Football Gronkowski. Actually, football actually fits this time. But right here, guys, we have Rob Gronkowski. You know, I like that they went outside the box with it. You know, I, I really didn't want a Gronk figure. I don't think we needed a Gronk figure. I think anybody else could have fit here. You have so many guys that could have fit right here. And to see this nice quality jacket, it is a really nice jacket. I like the, uh, the outside the box thinking of it. I like the jacket, of course. I like the sunglasses and everything like that. You do get another 24-7 championship, but we didn't need a Gronk. My excitement 
level four it was through the through the floor and uh yeah i just don't think we really needed it so for that that reason it's going to number six coming to number five guys i hate to do it but i'm gonna go with alexa bliss alexa bliss comes in at the number five ranking i felt as if it's just so so similar to the elite 53 yet it's not as good as the elite 53 i like the elite 53 figure better i like everything about it, it has more details on it uh, this has interchangeable hands yes and it does come with the women's tag team championship which is what lit and it is a good figure head to toe it's not bad at all it's just the excitement level for the figure wasn't really there it's not really outside the box attire or anything and so for that reason i am going to put it above gronkowski because it is better than gronk but it's not better than the rest in the wave so i am going to put alexa bliss here at number five coming in at number four guys we have jerry the king lawler i think I was, I was actually really impressed with this figure besides the oversized left hand for some reason i like the cloth cape i like the attire the white really pops off i like the it's a, it's a pretty much really good jerry the king lawler from head to toe i like the crown it fits the figure well it looks good on the shelf any flashback collector is really going to like this figure and i got to put it at the number four ranking coming in at number three guys we got to go with john morrison now i am super excited to have an updated john morrison i think that this figure is really nice i like the head sculpt i love the trench coat i like that you know we have an updated john morrison in the first place just having a john morrison back in our collections updated and everything like that is super nice maybe there's some things wrong with the head sculpt maybe there's some things wrong with the torso to neck to it's all of those things going on, but at the same time, I think that John Morrison is better than the rest. I was more excited for this figure than the rest. You can use this for a lot of other things, and I'm really hyped to see how this guy performs in other feds and stuff. So for that reason, I had to put Johnny Football, 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 Mundo, Football, Mundo at the number three spot. And coming in at two and one, guys, you got two excellent figures. Two figures that I think are going to be in the top for figure of the year when it all, is all said and done. And coming in at the number two ranking, I'm going to go with Keith Football Lee. And at number one, it has to be Finn Balor. My excitement level for Finn Balor was absolutely astronomical. I think that, you know, the updates to it are fantastic. I think this is a just perfect head sculpt. I love the attire from head to toe. We get shooter hands. It's just, it is freaking perfect. The Keith Lee, things that could have been improved with Keith Keith Lee. I think that, you know, I did get a loose boot. I did get a loose leg. Not the biggest deal for me. I did notice that other guys have a loose cr uh, a loose torso mold. I also don't like that the beard is weird and I feel like the head sculpt could have been a, a, just a slight tad bit better, but I still think it's a really damn good figure. I think the, the Keith Lee is very, very good and I know a lot of people are probably going to put it at number one for sure, but for me, when you, uh, when you just, when I look at this Finn Balor, I get super excited for it. My excitement level was through the roof. It feels good. I love it. it it's, it's just perfect. I love the Finn Balor too much to not put it at number one so let's go through the ranking again you got number one Balor number two Lee number three Johnny Football Football Mundo number four Jerry the King Football Lawler number five Alexa Football Bliss and Rob Football Gronkowski Football so that pretty much does it for my ranking of Elite Series 82 let me know what your ranking is down below I'm sure a lot of people are going to have John Morrison number one Keith Lee number one some people may even have Alexa Bliss number one but for me guys this was my full ranking here and I had I had a ton of fun reviewing this set it was a lot of fun I felt like we've been getting set after set after set so it's been a lot of fun to get these in here but for our random shout out guys leave me a comment and a like so we can give random shout out to you in our next video but here is our random shout out for today christian billick at first i thought that it said billichek and i was like oh my god rob gronkowski football but here it says i was watching this live and was pissed when seth sacrificed himself referring to survivor series last night if you guys were missed if you guys missed my review of the show definitely go check it out but seth rollins got on his knee sacrificed himself and i agree christian that did piss me off I think if it would have fit into a good storyline, it might lead to a good storyline, but I think it would have been really good if it fit into a storyline. But for the time, I was like, Jesus, man. Like, we didn't get to see Seth really do anything. We didn't really get to see Kevin do anything. And it was just, it, that's just how I felt. It was just like, Jesus, man. It was really, really annoying to see that. But I think that is going to do it for my Elite 82 ranking from worst to best, guys. I'm getting the hell out of here. I hope you guys did enjoy. Sh huge shout out to Christian for the comment on our last video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.